Hi, Ted Brooks with MagLogix. Back to talk to you more about the Alpha Rotobest series of mag drills. Using them with tungsten carbide tipped hole saws and annular cutters is wonderful. That's exactly what they're designed for. They do an incredible job. But I think you're losing about half of the effectiveness of the machine if you're not also getting the drill chuck adapter. This is our ratcheting keyless chuck drill chuck adapter. You can tell when you crank it down that it's keyless and it ratchets for a nice tight grab on the bits. This particular model lets you go from 1 16th all the way to half inch solid bits, the regular drill bits you already have today. If you are limited in height, you just need to know, to about a six inch long bit. You don't really want to use very long bits. Long bits tend to wander, tend to give you an off 90 degree drill hole. So having a shorter bit, better control, gives you all the quality you expect out of a mag drill. All you do with this one is pop out the set screws partially, drop out the uh, weld and shank. You'll notice there's a weld and shank adapter in the back of this drill chuck. Slip it back in and tighten those set screws back down with the enclosed four millimeter set screw wrench. It's that simple to get twice, maybe three times the effectiveness in use out of your mag drill. Let's go to this bigger brother, the RB50. This one has a monster, solid steel, again, ratchet and keyless chuck that goes from 1 16th all the way up to 5 8 That's the rated capacity of a solid core drill bit for these. This one now is going to limit you to about a 4 inch long bit. They're called stubbies, sometimes screw machine length. And again, you're going to get greater accuracy when you use shorter bits, kind of like we have here, a variety of sizes of them. These are going to give you far greater accuracy. They tend to be very inexpensive. And whether you sharpen them or throw them away is kind of up to you in the first place. In order to do that, you'll need to pop the original weld and shake adapter that it came with out. Sometimes it'll come out for you easily. Sometimes you take the little chuck key, line up this slot on top, just get that tap. At that point, your weld and shank adapter is out. MT2 shank at the back end of this guy. We'll do the same thing. We'll slide in the chuck, line it until it pops in place, and we'll move the head all the way up on the guyway to get the maximum clearance height. At that point, we can chuck up up to a four inch long drill bit and once again get full advantage of a mag drill having perfectly 90 degree holes all day long using a drill chuck adapter. They're not very expensive. They double or even triple the usefulness of your tool. They're in great investment if you're going to buy top of the line mag drills. Make sure you get a drill chuck adapter with them.